guys welcome back today we will be talking about equations of circle from the topic coordinate geometry let's get started so i'll start off by drawing a circle and for this circle the center has coordinates let's say h comma k and the radius of the circle is let's say r then the equation of this circle will be x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equals to r square. I will give you an example now. You are told to find the equation of a circle whose center is let us say minus 3 comma 2 and whose radius is let's say 4 so how would you find that circle the equation of that circle you'll write x minus minus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square is equals to radius square which is 4 square so the equation is going to be x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square is equals to 16 and contrary if you are given the equation of a circle instead you are given an equation x plus 5 whole square plus uh, let us say y minus 7 whole square is equals to 144 and you are asked to find the coordinates of the center and the radius how would you do that you will equate x plus 5 to 0 and you get x equals minus 5 and you equate y minus 7 to 0 and you get y is equals to 7. So the coordinates of the center are minus 5 comma 7 and the radius would be the square root of 144 which would be 12. Alright, now this is the general form of equation of a circle. There is another general form as well, which you get after expanding these two brackets. That general form is represented by x square plus y square plus 2fx plus 2gy plus c is equals to 0. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize this. You just need to know how to apply it. So, uh, in this case, the center is given as minus f comma minus g. This is f, this is g. You change its sign. And the radius is found by square taking the under root, squaring f plus squaring g and subtracting this c from it. Okay, again, please don't get intimidated by these facts. You don't have to memorize them. All you need to uh, know is that you'll be given a question like this x square plus y square let's say minus 12x uh, plus 8y and let's say plus 2 is equals to 0. Now you will be asked to find the center you'll be asked to find the radius. Now this is what you must know. Oops. Okay so what you'll be doing is that you'll be finding the center by simply dividing this coefficient of x with minus 2. So if we divide minus 12 with minus 2, we get a 6. And for the y coordinate, you simply divide this with minus 2. So 8 divided by minus 2 is minus 4. So the equation of so the coordinates of the center are 6 comma minus 4 and to find the radius you square root the square of 6 plus the square of 4 the sign does not matter of course because the, the sign does not matter because if you're squaring a positive number or you're squaring a negative number the answer is always positive and then you subtract c subtracting c means this is c plus 2 so you subtract it so it's going to become minus 2. Now what's the answer for this square root 6 square 
plus 4 square minus 2 gives 5 under root 2. I'm getting it in third form. So that's the radius. So uh, the center is 0, uh, 6 comma minus 4 and the radius is 5 under root 2. Now, instead, if you get an equation like this, another example, you get, let's say, 2x square plus uh, 2y square minus, let's say, 12x plus 8y. Let's do minus 2 is equal to 0 in this case. Now, okay, now we got ourselves a problem because in the general form of this equation, the coefficients of x square and y square must be 1. So, what we'll do now is simply divide both sides of this equation with 2 and we'll get x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 1 equals to 0. And now the center would be simply divide these coefficients with minus 2. So minus 6 divided by minus 2 is 3. And 4 divided by minus 2 is minus 2. And the radius is going to be square root 3 square plus, ignore the sign, 2 square minus c. So this time minus minus 2 will, sorry, minus minus 1 will become plus 1. So the radius is square root 3 square plus 2 square plus 1. which is square root of 40. Okay, another final thing you need to know before you can start doing the past paper questions are, uh, is that uh, remember the property from O levels or IGCSE that the radius and the tangent, they're always perpendicular to each other. So that's one property you must know. And another property from O levels is that has a chord and has the center of the circle. So if a line from the center of the circle bisects this chord, that is if it cuts the chord into two equal parts, then it is also perpendicular to the chord. And conversely, if a line from the center of the circle if it is perpendicular to the chord, then it also bisects the chord. So, you must know these two properties from O levels in order to do past paper question on this topic. All right, in the next video, we will be doing some past paper question from equation of circle. See you then. Take care.